for you When all the dogs need their help Lawyers in that commissary ain't gon' pay itself Where your ass was at when we recorded in the bathroom Where your ass was at, I take attendance like a classroom Man, I ain't got no choice Cause nowadays I swear this shit that changed up for the boy I'm self-made What's going on guys, getting into the voiceover from yesterday's back and shoulder session, currently Sunday as I do this voiceover, and before I get into it, obviously camera angle, very close up, uh, like I said in my previous video, that's only temporary, I have my new lens coming within this next week, I want to say a few days, even maybe tomorrow, and if I get it tomorrow I'll be pretty excited, I'll definitely get my leg date recorded. Getting into these barbell rows right off the bat, my form is definitely far from perfect. One thing I would fix right away would have to be foot placement. I, I feel like my feet are a little close together and that might be having adverse effects on just balance. But all in all, they felt good. I liked how they sort of hit my upper back, traps, and rhomboids area. As you can see, I'm pulling pretty high here. Um, sometimes people will pull lower. But I'm, I'm more so looking for something to replace the T-bar row, since I don't have a T-bar row at this gym. Uh, more so than I'm looking for something to, to uh, hit like the lower lat area, because I already have a lot of machines that will target that very well actually at this gym. Hammer strength and cables and things like that. But getting into these dumbbell presses, these are the 70s, and I got these for two sets of 10. And then I just drop down and rep it out. And uh, I, don't, I don't shoulder press every... Uh, shoulder session I shoulder press maybe once a week some weeks I don't even shoulder press and I just see a lot of success in basing my shoulder work around a lot of fly uh, raises lateral raises type movements not only because they just isolate well but because they really prevent you from getting injured your rotator cuff and shoulder area is not something you really want to screw with as far as injuries go and I've just found, you know, by staying healthy in my upper body, really never being injured, knock on wood, <laughs> I've been able to make good progress and progress in the shoulder uh, department. Sorry for the beeping. When cars go by my dorm room, there's like a little roundabout behind my dorm, and they just decide to beep really loud, and I really don't know why. I think it's because you can't see cars coming from the other side, but they put a mirror there for a reason, so I guess they just like to screw with us, but it's all good. I've recorded this voiceover like 20 times, so I'm just gonna roll with it right now, guys. Going pretty high rep on these lateral raises. Sometimes I do go heavier and I'll do cheater reps and I'll keep it in like the 10 to 15 range, but I was doing like 20 to 25 reps per set, but only like three sets. So I liked how they felt. Um, definitely, you know, I thought I would have more of a pump in this workout, but I, it's kind of weird. So let me know if this happens to you guys. Like mid workout, I'll just lose my pump. And I had a lot of food and water in me this day, but I don't know, it was kind of odd. And I was really, it was a good workout all in all, like everything felt good, so kind of weird, but all good. Hitting the high row here, I was, for a while, I was uh, using this as like my first back movement, my primary back movement, but I switched to more lower rows because I feel like I need more work there. Um, so as you see, I'll base like a lot of my back movements off things that are hitting like the lats, mid back, and just hit that area. But I do like to do pull downs and stuff like that. Didn't do any pull downs this workout, but hit this high row. As you see, I hit a drop set here because this was my last two sets, I think. I think I did four sets total here, maybe three. But this feels good. I feel this like in my lats, not really how you would feel a, a pull down, like a lat pull down. It's more so a row hitting your upper back. It's kind of hard to explain it because it's more horizontal than a pull down is, but it, it's sort of like a diagonal to be honest, because it's not completely vertical, not completely horizontal. So if you have one in your gym, I mean, try it out because back training is really largely what feels good for you. Obviously there's stable movements, but you're going to have to find something that you can connect well with your back. Just get that mind muscle connection. On these front raises, this is something that I really never hit. I don't think I've hit this in like a month. But I wanted to do these mainly because I've been laying off of incline pressing a lot for my chest lately. I don't know why, not really intentionally, but I just haven't incline pressed a lot. And I feel like I need to get back to hitting more uh, upper chest targeted movements. And it even does assist in that anterior deltoid department. So just wanted to get some action on the front head of the delt there. And then right over to the rears because I love hitting those. You definitely don't want to neglect them. And I was doing two exercises for rear delts a lot, most of my workouts. But lately I've just been doing one exercise because I like these so much that I don't even really do reverse pec deck anymore. 
Uh, again, try this one out, guys. If you can like feel it on the incline bench with dumbbells like this, I really think it's superior if you get it down to a science where you can really just target your, your rear delt and not even feel it in your back at all. Um, and, and there's certain ways, you know, how you position the dumbbell that will assist you with that. But all in all, solid workout, guys. Just want to get out a nice, chill Sunday video for you. And stay tuned for some dope videos in the future because when my new lens comes, I'm sure the quality will be better. And maybe even get somebody to help me film. I know these still angles are kind of boring after a while, so I want to try to figure something like that out. But stay tuned for more, like I said, guys. Um, I'll catch all you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed this one, go ahead and throw it a like. Go ahead and comment below anything. You guys know I get back to you. And follow me on Instagram. It's nick.berg. Did change my name, so just hit me up there. And until the next one, I'll see you then, guys. Peace out.